Watercourse crossings allow people to efficiently cross a body of water and include bridges, causeways, dams, and culverts. The issue is that some of these crossings can block fish passage. Take for example the 1968 installation of the causeway, which quickly resulted in a sharp decline in migratory fish species and the extirpation of the American shad and the Atlantic salmon from the Petticodiac River. A culvert is one type of crossing and it's described as a structure that allows a small river or stream to flow under a road or trail. Through funding provided by the Atlantic Salmon Conservation Foundation, as well as provincial and federal governments, the Petticodiac Watershed Alliance has been conducting culvert assessments in the Petticodiac Watershed since 2014. And I get the uh, elevation and then I tell it to Julie as I just did. She writes it down on her uh, data sheet. And then when we go back to the office, we put it in an Excel sheet and we get the uh, slope of this culvert. And we can determine whether or not fish can properly pass through it. This year, the PWA is conducting culvert assessments in the data deficient Memorial Cook River watershed. This river shares similar struggles as the Petticodiac River, where the construction of a causeway has prevented migrating fish species from accessing fresh water to Results are comparable to similar studies that have been conducted throughout North America. Over half of the culverts are partial or full barriers to fish passage. Fortunately, work is being done to reverse habitat loss and restore migratory passage through man-made barriers by various organizations and multiple levels of government. The Petticodiac River flowed freely in 2010 when the causeway gates were opened permanently, and with it we have seen a rebound in fish species native to our river. This river and the life and diversity it supports will continue to improve as work to replace the causeway control structure with the bridge has begun this past spring and is expected to be completed by 2020. The PWA is doing its part to increase the amount of habitat available for returning species by restoring fish passage through culverts we have previously identified as barriers to fish passage. A rock weir is designed to raise water levels in an outflow pool, leading to a reduction in outflow drops, resulting in improved fish passage. In 2017, the PWA installed 13 rock weirs, and we are able to improve fish access to over 20 kilometers of upstream habitat. The PWA has been increasing public awareness on the impacts of improperly designed or installed structures on our fish stocks by inviting volunteers and local high school students to participate in culvert assessments and restorations. The Petitcadec watershed is listed as critical habitat for Atlantic salmon and therefore the presence and availability of upstream habitat is critical for recovery program success. The assessment and remediation of barrier culverts is one of the PWA's major contributions to this larger narrative of Atlantic salmon recovery in the Bay of Fundy. A big thank you to all of our partners, past, present, and future, who have made the Broken Brooks project a success throughout the years.